Hello Taurus, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what your person's true intentions are toward you and we're also going to see how they truly feel about you. This will be regarding whoever it is that you're involved with or whoever you're thinking about. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, this could be how your person feels about you and their true intentions toward you. All right, so Taurus, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for your person's true intentions toward you, Taurus, is the three of wands, okay? So this person wants you to wait on them. They want you to wait on them, okay? I feel as though you've been waiting for a while now. Some of you may, you may want to turn your back on this person. For others of you, you may have already turned your back. And it's mainly because you're tired of waiting. I feel like this person has been playing a lot of games with you and they've been delaying giving you the commitment that you deserve. When it comes to how this person feels about you, Taurus, we have, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. So this person is admitting that they have a lot of issues. I feel like this person has um, a fear of intimacy, a fear of commitment. Some of you may be dealing with someone that has been constantly running from the connection that they have with you. And at this point, like I said, this person, they're admitting that you're not the issue. It's, it's them and they don't want you to take it personal. I feel like this person just has a lot of issues and they really need to grow up. Okay. So we're going to get more messages regarding how this person feels about you. All right. But first, let's go ahead and focus on this person's true intentions here with this three of wands. So Taurus, this person wants a relationship with you. They feel as though the two of you have a very spiritual connection, okay? But the problem here is that there's been a lot of confusion. I feel like this person thinks more than they actually take action. And for some of you, this person has a tendency to entertain other options, okay? Because there is third-party energy here. I do see things taking a turn, okay? And this person's going to realize that you're everything they could ever want or need, okay, in their life as far as their love life. When it comes to them, you see this person as very manipulative, okay? And you've taken a lot of this person's crap and you're no longer willing to put up with it. I feel like you see the truth when it comes to comes to this person. I feel like you know that they're manipulative and some of you are ready to cut this person off or you've already cut them out, okay? I do see that you guys are definitely healing here and some of you are looking toward the future. You may have decided to turn your back on this person or you're wanting to, okay? I feel as though as soon as you decide to turn your back, this person's going to come around wanting a commitment, okay? For some of you, this person may possibly propose to you in the future, um, but I feel like... I feel like when it comes to this person either proposing or at least wanting the two of you to live together, I feel like it's always in the in the works. Like this person doesn't take the action, the actions necessary to make this happen. OK, this person is also very stressed out. So they're very stressed about the relationship or the situation that they have with you. They see you as someone very good. They also view you as very attractive and they don't want anyone else to have you. OK, this person is like I said, they're not taking much action. They're more in their head than anything. I feel as though for some of you, this person is even plotting on how they can get you to stay around or how they can prevent you from leaving them completely. I do see them eventually making you an offer, but a lot of you may decide to just be single, okay? When it comes to this offer that this person's going to be making you, a lot of you are not going to trust it because you, you know the truth when it comes to this person. You gain a lot of knowledge and some of you may feel as though if you were to start a new connection with this person or if you were to renew things with them, they will end up just isolating themselves because I feel like this is someone that 
every time you look around, the two of you will get close and then all of a sudden they will start straying away from the connection and then they'll get back close to you and then all of a sudden they'll start isolating themselves again, okay? And this is a repetitive cycle. You guys are wanting a stable commitment commitments okay you're wanting a stable offer and at this point you're no longer playing games with this person i do also see that if you were to start something new with someone else there would be a lot of drama so this person would have a problem with you moving forward I do also see that there's someone in this person's past that they're still connected to. I do feel as though it's a soulmate, but it's it's a soulmate that was brought into their life to teach them a lesson. So there is another lover here that this person is entertaining. This is someone from their past. I feel as though they've been involved with this person for a while. For some of you, that other person, the third party is actually spying on you, okay? So they're keeping tabs. They may be watching your social media. They may be asking around about you. They're trying to find out information about you, okay? Spirit is saying to guard your heart and you may need to hold back from this person. Don't give them all of you just yet because when it comes to them, they're gonna continue to betray you. This is someone that has betrayed you numerous times Okay, some of the times you know about others, you don't. But those of you that have ended things with this person, it's because of their own doing. This is someone that you just cannot trust. Okay, I do feel as though this person is going to end up regretting all of the things they did to you, especially when it comes to the betrayals. For some of you, they're actually regretting things now, but they're not letting you know. They're not going to tell you that. Okay, when it comes to this person, they have very little to offer you, Taurus, and they're also very immature. This is someone that secretly is a player or they try to keep it a secret, but I feel as though you guys know what this person is all about. They're very, very inconsistent, and I feel as though it's because of fear. This person doesn't get in committed relationships because they fear commitment, so they're always running from connections. I feel as though a lot of you have realized that this person is very toxic, okay? For some of you, this person actually even has some type of obsession with you. I do also see that for some of you, when it comes to this person, they have some type of addiction. Now, for some, they're addicted to drugs. It could be... It could be um, alcohol. I keep hearing sex. And I really feel as though for most of you, your person has like a sex addiction. It, they, they get some type of sick, sick satisfaction out of dealing with multiple people at one time. Okay. Oh, they have very risky sex. Okay. Very risky sex. But I do see that as time moves forward, this person's going to come back around wanting to give you a commitment. I do see them offering you love, but you're still not going to trust them because they played too many games with you. Okay. This person loves you deeply, but they don't always express it. They mostly just think about it. When it comes to this person juggling towards, if they've been telling you that they haven't been or that you're the only one, they're lying. They're not telling you the full truth. There's definitely someone else here. For some of you, that third party, that third party knows about some of you. Okay. The third party is well aware of you. I do see that for some of you, you may end this cycle and walk away from this person because they're not putting in the work. OK, once you move forward, this person is going to feel as though you've left them out in the cold and they're going to come back around wanting to work on things. But spirit is saying to use head above hearts when it comes to trying to work things out. OK, because you have better coming toward you. This person is only going to break your heart. OK. All right. So let's get a little bit more about this person's true intentions and then we'll get into the messages regarding how this person truly feels about you so yes this is someone that wants you to wait on them i feel as though a lot of you have been waiting for a while for this person to give you a commitment and they've just been taking their sweet time okay and time waits for no one and so i feel as though a lot of you are just You've just gotten to the point where you no longer want to wait and you're ready to turn your back or you already have. So their main intentions for you is for you to wait on them. They want you to wait. Okay, so let's dive a bit deeper. 
All right. Spirit, give me more about um, this person's true intentions for Taurus. What is this person's true intention, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, so we have the the seven of wands in reverse. Okay, so they don't want you to give up on them. Okay, they don't want you to give up on them. This person feels as though you're their soulmate. Also, they have a choice in lovers, but they want you to wait. They want you to wait and to continue to fight for them while they make judgment or while they take some type of action toward this other person that they've been juggling. Okay, they're wanting you to wait for them to walk away from this person from the past. Okay, so yeah, they don't want you to give up on them. Okay, their true intentions is to delay, to delay you giving up on the connection. And the sick thing about it, they the sick thing about it is they want you to wait while they walk away from this other lover. Okay, because there's definitely someone else here, whether you're male or female, there's a third party here that they've been juggling. They do plan to walk away from this third party, but I feel as though they have a lot of history with this person. They've been off and on with this person for a while. And so they're trying to figure out exactly what to do to get rid of this person or how they should walk away from them. Okay, so that that's their true intentions. They want you to wait. They don't want you to give up on them, but they're planning to get rid of that third party so that they can balance things out with you, okay? Because they do see you as wish fulfillment, but they're just childish. This person is very childish, okay? They don't want you to be single. This is someone that doesn't want you to be single, but at the same time, they're not giving you what it is that you deserve. Okay, so let's get some messages, some more messages regarding how this person truly feels about you. Okay, so we know that they're saying, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. So let's see what else this person has to say. Give me more messages, Spirit, for how this person truly feels about Taurus or what they want Taurus to know. Thank you. Okay, so we have your beauty still moves me. I told you guys this person is attracted to you. They see you as someone very attracted inside and out. Okay, they think you have a beautiful a beautiful mind and they also feel as though you're very physically beautiful or very handsome give me more spirit about how this person truly feels about Taurus so yeah there's a lot of physical attraction here so we have you've been in my dreams so this person has been dreaming about you for some of you they could be daydreaming as well okay give me more spirit so they're thinking about you a lot I feel as though for some of you, you are the, the person of um, your person's dreams, okay? They probably never imagined that they would even be able to get someone as genuine and loving as you. Someone that's so passionate for them, or at least you used to be. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer, okay? So they're receiving signs. Spirit is giving this person signs when it comes to you. And I feel as though that's why you're in my dreams is here, okay? So because Spirit is working on this person through their thoughts and through their dreams. So they may even hear songs about you or hear songs that remind them of you. We also have I Feel Safer in the Silence. So this person... Like I said, they have a fear of intimacy, okay? And at the same time, they don't speak because for one, they're not good at expressing their emotions or they feel as though expressing their emotions make them vulnerable. I also feel as though they stay silent most of the time or they don't completely tell you everything because they know that they could slip up and say the wrong thing and you're going to call them on it. So this person can't get over on you, okay? You call it how you see it. And a lot of the times, most of the times, maybe even all of the time, you're right about what you're telling this person, whether you're accusing them of, of doing something or whether you're um, just calling them on their bullshit. You're right. Give me more spirit about how this person truly feels about Taurus. How does this person truly, ooh, we have two that came out. Okay, so maybe we're just too different. So this person feels as though the two of you are very different. And that came out under your beauty seal moves me. So this is someone that 
they feel as though it's almost like light and dark. Okay. It's like you're the light and they're the dark. Everything about you is completely different from this person. You're genuine. They're not. You're honest. They're not. Okay. Um, you're trustworthy. They're not. So the two of you are very different. And I feel as though they're attracted to that because you're everything that they're not. And for some of you, you even inspire this person to be better. Okay. I miss you regardless of how things seem. So this person is admitting that they miss you. Okay. Give me more spirit. So whether they're, um, whether you guys are communicating with, with each other or not right now, this person misses you. Even though it might seem as though they don't care. They miss you a lot. Give me more spirit. Thank you. All right. So we have, if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Wow. Okay. So they're saying that they would have done things differently if they would have known what they know now. Okay. And the crazy thing about it is a lot of you have even told this person like, hey, you're not going to find anybody else like me. Okay, nobody else is going to treat you the way that I have. Nobody's going to be as good to you as I've been. Okay, because one thing about Taurus is that when a Taurus really cares about you and love you, like they they really you guys really go hard for people. Like you you're very very loyal. Like you're very down to earth. And you don't always meet people like that. And so I'm, I feel as though this person is realizing that they're not going to find anyone else like you. And I know that because you came out as the empress or the emperor. No one else compares to the empress and the emperor. There's only one of either of them in the deck. Only one. We also have, I want to be authentic. I'm no longer afraid. So this person wants to be true about their feelings. They want to be real. This is someone that has been faking it. They've been fake about everything, okay? Everything is superficial. They, on the outside, it seems as though they're calm, cool, and collected, like they don't care. But in the inside, they're a hot mess, okay? So they're saying that they want to be real. They want to be real with you. They want to be real with themselves, that they are no longer afraid of being vulnerable. So they're trying to do some inner work, but I feel as though they still have a lot of work to do. Give me one more message, Spirit, for how this person feels about Taurus. Give me one more message, please, Spirit, for how this person feels about Taurus. Okay, thank you. Our connection still affects me. So they're still deeply affected by the connection. Okay, but at the bottom of the deck, we have, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. And that's really sad because all you're expecting from this person is being genuine. All you expect is reciprocity. Whatever you're giving, just give me that in return. That's all you're expecting from them. And it's sad because they don't know if they can meet those expectations. They don't know if they can be a genuine person. They don't know if they can give you commitment, you know? Wow. That's just really sad. It really is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get you some advice, Taurus. I'm going to pull, pull an angel message for you guys to see what your angels um want you to know or what kind of guidance they have for you all right spirit give me a message for taurus what's the most important thing that taurus needs to know spirit so yeah this person they know that they'll never be able to find anyone else like you and it's sad because all they have to do it's just be genuine. Just give you reciprocity. That's it. Just be honest with themselves. Be honest with you. And that's all. Like you're not asking this person. It's not like you're asking them to, to take care of you for the rest of your life and this, that, and the other. Like you're you're more than willing and capable of pulling your weight. You've never needed anyone to, to be your backbone. Okay? But this is someone that is just scared to be vulnerable. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, we have meditation brings answers. So some of you maybe need to meditate or possibly pray about this situation. Give me an angel message, spirit, for Taurus. Give me an angel message, please. Give me an angel message for Taurus, spirit. If you guys like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And also comment in the comment section and let me know if, if this resonates with you. <clears throat> give me an angel message. Thank you. Okay, so choose a new direction. Wow. Okay, so they're saying to choose a, a new direction. 
So when it comes to this person, they're saying that you may need to to do things differently or or go a different route, okay? Because this is someone that still needs to grow. They have some changes to make and it's it's not you, it's them. Like they have to make these changes. You know, you can't change a person, not saying that you guys have been trying to do that, but you have to let people do the work. If it's meant to be, it will be. But in the meantime, you need to choose a direction because time waits for no one. You don't have time to wait on this person. Okay. You don't have time to wait on them. Give me one more message for what Taurus needs to know, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. A year from now. All right, so they're saying that possibly within a year from now, the situation may, may improve. We have improving health. So for some of you, your person may even be dealing with health issues. Some of you could possibly have um, some issues, whether it's headaches, whether it's, um, you know, whatever. Um, and it doesn't have to necessarily do with health. It could be other aspects, like an, an improving relationship, okay, and the... and an improved relationship. Um, it could also be a state of mind. Okay. So I feel as though a year from now, this person will be in a better state of mind. Okay. They'll be able to do better, but until then you guys definitely need to choose a different direction. Okay. Because they have a lot of work to do. All right, so Taurus, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care, be safe. Until next time, bye.